Okay, welcome to the science channel. Science. We got something cool. I don't even know what it's called. Actually, none of us know what it's called, really. So we're gonna leave it up to you guys to name this uh, beast. It's an alien technology made by Richard, also AKA known as Royal Nonsuch. Uh, but the, wait, the idea was mine though, right? I'll take yeah, give me the credit. I'll take the credit for the idea. Okay. <laughs> like, let's put let's spin guns around and shoot. No, this is this is how it happened. I, I said let's convert these into automatics. It would have taken too much paperwork. Oh, yeah. And then you said let's convert it into a Gatling gun. So this is what we came up with. Jasper, give me a zoom in on this. It's a Gilboa, Gilboa AR-15s. These are double barrels. They come like this from factory. Thanks to Gun Prime for actually hooking us up with these ones. They gave us a smoking deal. Also thanks to Hex Mags for giving us all the mags we need for these because we had to get a bunch of them loaded up. They hooked us up with like 30 mags. So check them out if you want some new mags. Hex Mags is the way to go. So you got six barrels right over there. And every rotation, every rotation it takes, it fires uh, the triggers, which is right over here. Uh, Richard, do you want to explain it? You, you built it, so. Uh, yeah, so we just try to keep it as simple as possible. So we just got a lever here on both triggers on each gun. And then uh, they all rotate on this center rod here. And then in the back, we spin it. Oh, the back part is the coolest part. He added a couple motors. <laughs> so we got a couple motors and a belt. And uh, yeah, this, this plunger here, when it's out, that's safety basically. When it's in, that's firing the guns. And uh, I can spin it. it see the gears. There you go. So that's how it works. <laughs> and then uh, this thing here is the one that triggers the, uh, the levers right over here. Uh, we want to move so I'm not pointing it at you. So every time it takes a rotation, it hits this little thingy over here. We kind of call it a little thingy and uh, it pulls the trigger. I, okay. got a, I got a little thingy too. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> so pretty interesting concept. Oh, you added a little spring over here. Look at you. <laughs> that is fancy, man. It's redneck This thing fancy. is super redneckish. What do we? What's, what do we say? We're gonna call it Rednecks Minigun. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Should we just call it that title? The Rednecks Minigun. It's a cheaper that version. That would work until somebody else comes up with a better idea. Yeah, that's. They're gonna ruin our idea. <laughs> yeah. Do. But pretty awesome. Uh, and then we painted it yellow, of course, black and yellow, black and yellow, and it will fire right through this hole in the bottom. In case you're wondering where the firing happens. So it goes right over there. Every time it reaches the middle, fires right there. I don't know, about uh, 150, 200 rounds we're going to do each cycle. Thanks again to Gun Prime and Hex Max. And, and the most important sponsor of today, which is Grip6. They're the ones who hooked us up with uh, funding a lot of this. They're the ones that uh, took care of the bill for putting all this together. I just coordinate everyone to come together and they picked up the tab. They're the ones who make these awesome belts and they kind of, they sell these cool belts. They have cool buckles. You can get an American flag or any other stuff that you like. There will be a link in the description. They have it for work uh, purposes, casual attire, and if you go on a date or whatever. And it's pretty easy. This kind of slides out like that, like this. You slide this in there, okay? and you pull it it's very seamlessly tucks right in there you don't have the flapper that comes out they also have wallets right over there and uh, you push it out with the lever credit cards come out and then they lock back in nothing falls out they also sell socks and all their stuff is made here in the united states made in america and uh, they help us out all the time every time i ask them they're really good people definitely want to go check them out because obviously you know youtube is not uh, paying and demonetizing all these videos to do with the automatics and the high capacity magazines so they pick up the tab we really appreciate it. if you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff and getting everybody here together go at least get yourself a wallet socks or something and by you clicking the link that's how they know you went over there and you are um, helping them out to help us out so we really appreciate it grip6.com check them out link in the description anybody else am i missing out i had a list of people 
I think <laughs> I'm gonna put all the yeah Mark Serbu he came out here he's holding this <laughs> show him real quick <laughs> he's holding this so the wind doesn't bother us <laughs> That's a big That's deal. Mark. He just got back from robbing the bank. That's yeah, he just came back from robbing your bank. <laughs> I'm terrorist. I'm terrorist. Uh, yeah, so, thanks to Ballistic Dummy Lab, they hooked us up with one of these uh, torsos. It's a replication. Is that a real word, Mark? Replication? Uh, yeah. But you're not Unfortunately, really. I'm putting in the wrong sentence. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it resembles a human body. They make it look very realistic. We asked them to put blue dye in it. It's got bones, synthetic bones, and uh, organs inside. They're filled with blue dye. So once we shoot it, we'll see what happens. It's a good representation of what happens if a bullet uh, hits you. Obviously, we're gonna try it with our uh, um, Gatling gun, see what kind of damage it does to it. It will be destroyed, I can promise you that, but then it's also good to see it in an actual video. Am I missing anything else? I know I talked a lot, just bear with me. This is gonna be a cool uh, video. So Ballistic Dummy Lab, thank you so much. Link in the description for them also. You can get yourself one of these. Let's just start shooting, okay? I know you guys are tired of me talking. Let's go. So the charging handle, it pulls both bolts back, charges the uh, both of the bolts on each gun. So you gotta do it like three times. Yep. There's two triggers, two mags, three guns, two barrels, okay? Ready? I'm ready. Rotation started. Ready? I'm ready. Fire in the hole. (laughs) That That was pretty cool actually. (laughs) Oh man. (laughs) Okay. Here's the damage. Oh, look at the wood. You can see more of the damage when it hit the wood, Jasper. Come a little closer here, inside. Obviously came right out. Oh, some of them even came out of this uh, wood. What is this, a uh, uh, four by six? Something like that. So there it is, that's the back. It split it in half almost. It destroyed the wood. And some of them even came out of the wood. Obviously, some of them weren't firing at the same time. We're still working out the little, uh, the little what? Kinks. Kinks out of it. And uh, we're gonna load up one more round and uh, continue shooting and see what happens. Let's go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay, rotation started. Get it fast. I'm gonna go a little bit higher up. Ready? I'm ready. Fire in the hole. That did better this time around, the second round. <laughs> it played us a song, man. I know. <laughs> it like plays a tune. <laughs> Holy moly, look at the destruction on this. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> it made a hole inside this guy. Ah, look at the wood. Ah, oh, split the wood in half. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at the cavity inside this wood. Maybe there's a hot bullet in there. I can't, I, w- I would find it, I would know. I'm expert. Yeah, we need you to find a bullet so you can get burned. Yes. I want you to touch it. Uh, oh, there's some bullet stuck here. Oh, what's the right there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! No, really, it's hot. I'm yes. not even joking. I was hoping that would happen <laughs> today. This the guy here is hot. <laughs> <laughs> here, that's ready. Here, hey, let me get it out. Oh, you got it out. Is it still hot? No, cool down. Oh, the wind. There it is. All right, awesome. Well, we're gonna go load some more mags. Ballistic dummy lab, sorry about your guy over here. It's all messed up now. Thanks to my friend Rigo, as always helping us out with car doors and other stuff. (laughs) He gave me a bunch of these, no glass inside. This is gonna represent two cars being right next to each other and we're gonna shoot through them. Uh, what is that? What kind of door is this? Is that a ram? 
Tundra. Uh, Toyota Tundra. Okay, so we got a Toyota Tundra and something else, some big SUV. Four doors and then we got concrete in the back. Let's see if we can reach to the concrete and what kind of destruction will do to that. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna go like this. Ready, Jasper? I'm ready. Are they charged? Yeah, they're okay. ready. Let the rotation begin. Fire in the hole. <laughs> you can see some of them are maybe hitting, some are not hitting. <laughs> maybe some malfunction. <laughs> This is our first run, so uh, don't mind the... Oh, this fired. This fired completely. This fired. We had one gun. One side only. It wasn't firing properly. Which, which make it the whole gun, I think. If one jams, I think both of them jam. We'll, pull, we'll clear that out. So there they are, all the holes. That's pretty, give me a zoom in on that. Very nice grouping. So went through the second door. Oh man. Look at that. <laughs> oh no. Car and a half, oh it's a Dodge Ram, 1500. Oh wow, look at the hole in the concrete. Oh man. Yeah, there's a bunch of rounds here hitting the concrete and falling back down. See if they're hot. Wow, it ripped right through that concrete. Look at this, just ready. Holy moly. A lot of bullets going through there. Yeah. Slap it. Slap it. One more. How your mama smack you when you were little. Yeah, like that. She didn't smack you hard enough. Ah! <laughs> what kind of smack was that? <laughs> they gotta smack it hard, like. Yeah. Like this. Like you mean it. So I feel like you mean it. All right, we got RTS Tactical Shield over here. These are pretty cool little shields. There it is. Thanks to RTS Tactical. I don't remember what kind of round's supposed to stop, but uh, you hold it like this. You can put your rifle, your pistol, whatever you have, flashlight, go around and clear rooms or clear whatever or do an attack. I'll stop you. It's actually pretty cool. You can also maybe just put it. Maybe I can hit something like that. <laughs> this is good for hitting. Cabron, imagine if somebody comes in and just smash them like that. It's pretty cool. So we'll try it, see what happens. We'll shoot it. I'm gonna put it a little bit of an angle so the bullets kind of maybe go upward like that. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Ricardo, you wanna shoot this? Ricardo is shooting yes. it now. That's Betty. You got the Wait. target too? Yeah, uh, target yeah, but. Okay, we're good? Yeah, I'm ready. Right, I'm go. ready too. <laughs> it went down. Okay, point it the other way. <laughs> oh man. Look at the holes it makes in the thing. No, they're not going through. <laughs> you wanna try again? Well, there's more rounds in there, right? There should be some. Okay. I don't know how, there's probably not a lot. Put a couple more rounds on it. This thing is so loud. Is, well, both barrels go at the same time. It's extra loud, you know? Oh, man. Same 
See how it's like splattering? It's going in. Sort of. Not really. One did. One did. I don't know why. It must have hit in the same exact spot as another bullet. You think so? I so that's the only most way. of them are not going in, maybe because it was tilted in an angle, so they're just hitting and ricocheting upward. You can kind of uh, see over here. This first one might have been the one that was the uh, most straight and uh, solid, like this. I think the ones that one hit, it kind of fell down, and the other ones kind of ricocheted upward. Science. And this is the damage afterwards. Not bad, not bad, Uncle Roger like. Okay. What That's pretty cool. Huh? That's pretty fun. Yeah. Just splattered that door. See all the splatter marks? Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not too full. Maybe just 15 rounds each mag, 10 to 15. We'll shoot some concrete, see how deep of a hole we can make on it, okay? Just by itself. We'll be right back. So we're gonna hit that wall right over there where there is the bar on top. Uh, let me go see how thick it is. Okay, I think we are good. <clears throat> Ready? Oh wait, I have to hide. Well hide for what? For, uh, I don't want to ricochet. No, this is not gonna ricochet. Uh, I don't know. Okay, ready? Wait. Engaging. <laughs> the thing hit my face, the oh, concrete. Imagine that. No, this is not gonna ricochet. No, this is not gonna ricochet. <laughs> Who would have guessed that? The what? Who would have guessed that? <laughs> is my face okay? No, it looks terrible. It's all brown. <laughs> it's all brown. It's all brown. It's all brown. It's all, all brown. And yes. You holding it? Not yet. Wow. You can see the bullet right in there. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, so if I would have if I would have kept that on another 30 40 rounds, we probably could have made a hole in that thing. That thing is crazy. And that is redneck science for you guys. It's okay, I can say redneck because I'm a scientist. If you are not scientist, you shouldn't say that. You'll get demonetized. Okay, that's it for today's video. I think um, we had enough. I'm gonna come back and shoot some propane tanks with this thing. So stay tuned for the next video. But I wanna thank Grip6.com for helping us out with this uh, project. Also Gun Prime for helping us out to get all the guns and ammo and uh, Mark Serbu for coming out and also Richard. Let's not forget about Jasperito for recording. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. Let's go.